In our family life center this year for Ash Wednesday, we had the labyrinth. We originally intended for it to be outside, but some sprinkles of rain drove us inside. This is a Char Trees Labyrinth. It's available to rent from the Florida Conference, and we picked it up from camp. The Char Trees Labyrinth dates back to the 11th or 12th century. In Chartres, France, it is inlaid on the floor of the cathedral there in stone. And the labyrinths used to be used by Christians who wanted to make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem but could not do so because it was not safe in the Middle Ages. And so they would journey from their home to the nearest cathedral that had a labyrinth and then they would finish the journey to Jerusalem by walking into the center, using those rosettes in the center as representing Jerusalem. And then once they would reach the center, they would walk back out. <coughs> There's a lot of different ways that you can walk the labyrinth. There's really no right or wrong way to walk it. You can just step into it and begin to walk and just pray as you feel led. Or you can come to God with a question as you walk and move towards the center. Spend some time in prayer there with Jesus. Um, sometimes I like to walk the labyrinth and Think of things I need to release or let go as I move and make my way to the center and then spend some quiet time praying there and as I leave and exit think about all the blessings and the things that I have to be grateful for in my life as I walk back out of the labyrinth. You can come and pray to God here with not just questions, but lift up problems that you're struggling with. You can come here and lift up emotions that you're struggling with, grief or anger or pain. All of those things are a beautiful way to draw closer to God as you walk the labyrinth. I think for me, one of the reasons I like the labyrinth so much as a prayer tool is because it is active. And I struggle sometimes with keeping my mind quiet and still when I pray. And you don't have to worry about the path when you're walking the labyrinth, you just follow it. You don't have to make any choices about which turn or direction to go. You just follow the path. There's no dead ends, there's no tricks. It's one way into the center and one way out. And when my body is moving in that way, it helps clear out my mind and make it possible for me to be able to go deeper, to concentrate more, to feel closer to God in those moments. We're going to look for some ways to continue to incorporate the labyrinth uh, into worship experiences in the future, and I hope more of you will take the opportunity to come and to use it. You've got a prayer labyrinth in your Lenten kit that is modeled on this labyrinth right here for you to trace with a finger or a pen, and these are just tools for you to help draw yourself closer and closer to God. I hope that you will find a way with the labyrinth to pray that will enrich your spiritual life. Blessings, friends.